Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to design snowflakes in Illustrator. I am going to make this snowflake. First grab the star tool. Go to view and mark smart guides. After that point the cursor to anchor point, click and drag like this. You can change the number of points of the star by pressing up or down arrow keys. You can change the radius of the star by hold down control key and click and drag the mouse cursor. OK. Now go to Properties panel. If you couldn't see go to Window, select Properties. I am changing the stroke color to black and fill to none. Now grab Line Segment tool and draw a line like this. I am drawing a line like this and dragging it to here. Now grab Scale tool and pressing Alt key, click at the anchor point of the line. Mark Uniform and change the value to 50. Tick Preview box. Click OK. Grab Selection Tool. Now take a duplicate from this line hold down ALT key and drag. Grab Scale Tool and pressing ALT key click at the anchor point of the line. Change the value to 65. Take another duplicate of that line. Select Scale Tool and pressing ALT key, click at the anchor point of the line. I am changing the value to 55. Now grab Reflect Tool and hold down ALT key click this middle line. Change Axis to Vertical, leave Angle 90 degree and click Copy. Now select all these lines and grab Rotate Tool. Hold down Alt key, give a click on the line and anchor point. Change the angle to minus 60 and click Copy. Now press Ctrl plus D four times to take some duplicates. I am going to make these circles. Drag Ellipse Tool and draw circle hold down Shift key. Now grab Rotate Tool hold down Alt key, click on the middle. Change the angle value to minus 60. Hit Copy. Now press Ctrl plus D four times. I am going to design this middle shape. Drag Rectangle Tool. Hold down Shift key draw a rectangle. Now go to Effect, Distort and Transform. Pucker and Bloat. Change the value to minus 44 and click OK. I am scaling it like this and placing it right here. Grab Rotate Tool. Hold down Alt key, click middle point. Change the angle value to minus 30 and hit copy. We don't need this shape. I am placing this shape like this. Now go to Window, Stroke. Change Corner to Round Join. Change Weight to 5. Grab Rotate Tool and hold down Alt Key Click Middle. 
Change the angle value to minus 60 and hit copy. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Our first snowflake is finished. Let's design the second one. Grab Start Tool and draw like this. Change the number of points of the star by pressing up arrow keys. I am taking 12 points. Again draw a star like this. You can change the radius of the star by hold down control key and click and drag the mouse cursor. Again draw a star like this. Now drag line segment tool and I am drawing a line like this. Then hold down shift draw a line. Grab Rotate Tool. Hold down Alt key, click these point. Change the angle value to 45. Click OK. Now place the line like this. Then hold down Shift, select this corner and drag like this to reduce the scale of the line. Now take duplicates of that line. Change line scales like this. Now select all the lines and grab Reflect Tool. Hold down Alt key click on middle of this line. Mark vertical and click Copy. Grab Selection Tool and select all the lines. Grab Rotate Tool and hold down Alt, Key, click Middle Point. Change the angle value to 30 and hit Copy. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. You can change the line caps if you want. Okay, our second snowflake is finished. Let's go to the third one. Grab star tool and draw a star. Use up or down arrow to change number of points of the star. I am drawing the star like this. You can change the radius of the star by hold down control key and click and drag the mouse cursor. I am using arrow keys to place the star right position. Now draw a line like this. Again I am drawing a line hold down shift key. Now select rotate tool and click this point hold down alt key. Change the angle to 45. Click OK. Now place the line like this and change scale. Take a duplicate of that line and place it here. Scale the line. Hold down shift, draw a horizontal line. Grab rotate tool. 
Change the angle value to 270 and click copy. Now select all the lines and reflect to vertically. Select these lines and rotate to 60 and hit copy. Duplicate four times. Hold down shift, draw a square. Now go to distort and transform, pucker and bloat. Change value to minus 44. Now rotate the square to minus 15. Click OK. Place it like this. Now rotate it to 60 angle. Take a copy. Now duplicate it four times. Our snowflakes design is finished. Let's make some brushes from these snowflakes. These are three snowflakes that we created. Now I am going to make brushes from these snowflakes. First scale down the snowflake like this. Go to window, stroke. Then change the stroke weight like this. Go to Window, Brushes. Now select the snowflake and click New Brush icon. Mark Scatter Brush and click OK. Type a name of the brush. Change Fix to Random. Change Colorized Method to Tint. Now click OK. You can see Snowflake Brush has created in the Brush Palette. Grab Brush Tool. Select Snowflake Brush and draw like this. I am changing the color of these snowflakes. OK. Now select Snowflakes and double-click on the Snowflake brush in the brush palette. I am changing values like this. You can change value as you wish. Mark Preview to see the changes we made. Click OK, then click Apply to Strokes. Likewise create other snowflake brushes.
So if you like this tutorial, hit like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel to just stay tuned to all my future videos. Thanks for watching.